Peggy 16. Welcome to this exclusive Disciples Liberation Dev Diary. I'm Jordan Tiboust, the creative director of this project, and today I'm going to showcase some never seen footage of the game. This is Avayana, the main character of Disciples Liberation, and two of her companions, Orion and Coruscant, whom you can recruit during your journey. But today, it's time for some gameplay. Disciples Liberation is a dark fantasy strategy RPG, following in the footsteps of the previous games in terms of lore and gameplay elements, while introducing new concepts to the brand and the genre as a whole. The game has all the turn-based goodness you can imagine, with a lot of different units and unique companions. As you can see, every unit has some color type action point above their head. This is one of the new concepts introduced in Disciples Liberation. Blue action points are used for movement, red action points to activate abilities, and gold action points can do both. This gives a lot of tactical flexibility as some units can, for example, perform multiple attacks or movement in the same turn. You can see that we are using a hexagon grid and that some of those hexagons have obstacles that can block movement and or line of sight. But also can host what we call x tide modifiers. Simply moving through one of those modifiers will trigger its effect. Now, this battlefield specifically also has another modifier called battlefield modifier. This one specifically is the thunderstorm. You see, some of the ties are glowing red. What will happen is that at the end of each round, lightning will strike those ties. So it's important to make sure your units are not on any of those, and on the contrary, to try to force the enemy unit to finish their turn there. Now, let us look at some of the units you can recruit in the game. In total, there are 56 units, 14 per faction, each with their unique abilities. Then we have the spellbook. In total, there are more than 80 spells and 8 martial abilities that you can acquire during your journey, divided in 4 tiers of power. Yana is the only one who can cast spells. They are very powerful and can potentially turn the tide better. Aviana can wear equipment to improve her stats. The armor slot will change her appearance in sometimes major way. While Aviana can wear every type of equipment, companion can still wear weapons, and both companion and normal unit can wear emotion shroud. Aviana also has three different skill trees that she can invest points in Combat, Nephilim, and Magic. Based on the class you choose for her, you will be able to delve more in some trees than the others, focusing your specialization. This is the city of Ilian. During the course of the game, you will be able to upgrade individual buildings, but also create new ones based on the faction you align yourself with. Here is Orion, one of the first companions you will recruit in the game. He is an assassin and Avayana childhood friends. He is particularly good at stealthing and taking out single target. Now you see me. Next is Corisandre, a priestess of the Empire. She has a very tragic past. And without surprise, she's a great support character. Ejamar is another companion. Genius Necromancer is more outstanding than let's just say unique. Raising the dead come naturally to him on top of being a great offensive character. Yeah, 
Finally, our last companion for today is Ilmoran. She was originally an angel that joined Betrazen's Legion and has become an Erinias as a result. She has great balance of offense and support for her attacks that can both heal her allies and deal damage to the enemies. Now let's look at some more combat sequences, showcasing especially some undead and elven units. Combat is not the only thing you will do in Disciples Liberation. Nevendar is a big world that you will be able to discover through 13 regions and 28 dungeons. There are a lot of varied environments, landmarks and secrets to discover through the massive 80 hours campaign. Disciples the Russian is a true RPG also in its narrative. Agreed of nothing. To battle. Blade is here. We've faced each other before. Calm demeanor, but sadistic in a way that impressed even me. Every quest in the game will feature dialogues with multiple choices and branching. I want to help, but it sounds like you have a problem with the entire Legion, not just one demon. Ultimately, this will impact not only the ending of those individual quests, but also the fate of your companions and the ending of the game itself. There's going to be more bloodshed here, that much is certain. We need to speak with those generals before they march on one another. Forgive us. Ejimar conjured my reawakening. It is good to see the man, especially here. Will you be a restless conqueror or a good natural leader? So, you and Etemar, but you're a vampire. The choice is yours, but in every case, get ready for an epic experience mixing strategy, tactics and stories. And if you want to take a closer look at Disciples Liberation already, sign up now for your chance to take part in the exclusive closed beta.